If we are going to present Hashem, God Almighty, in the month of Elul and Tishrei and the High Holidays, as wearing a cloth, a cloak, and being somebody who's looking to kill anybody who doesn't make the cut. Oh, this is what he's been waiting for all year, his chance for vengeance. Isn't he a vengeful God? Okay, so, so let me tell you the problem with this, my friends, if, you, if that's the Hashem that you have. Because let's go through the year together. Sukkis. Oh, Hashem loves us. He cuddles us in a hug and a hut. He protects us. Amazing. We go to Hanukkah. Oh, Hashem loves us. He makes a miracle. He made the lights glow and He always makes light shine in the dark. Oh, it's beautiful. We're crying. He comes to Purim. Oh my goodness, Purim. Hashem loves us even in nature. He's always there for us, always protecting us, changing everything to help us. Oh, so it's glorious. Pesach, wow. Is there any greater love than Pesach when Hashem took us, took us out of Egypt, even though we were a ragtag nation, and He adopted us to be His children, His nation, because He loves us so much. And then you come to Shavuos, the giving of the Torah. Oh my goodness, Hashem loves us. He gave us the Torah. That was our literal wedding. Unbelievable! Now we flip all the way around and we come to Elul Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. Oh, he's going to kill you. Oh, does he take issues with you? Oh, does he hate you? You stink! Okay, so, if that's your version of the calendar, then my friend, you have a God with a personality disorder. That's what you have. That is a personality disorder. You can't love me 95% of the year and then for two months want to kill me. That doesn't make sense. If Hashem loves us every other time of year, then Elul and Rosh Hashanah, and Yom Kippur, Hashem loves me the same as always. Infinite, unconditional love.